Welcome into Head to Reach Tarot with me, Deborah. Thank you for coming in. This is for the sign of Virgo. And we are looking, Virgo, at the heart chakra energy in this reading, meaning your emotions, meaning love and what is going on around you with regards to that energy. Are you okay? What is coming in? What is going to happen? That is what we're checking for. Excuse me and my fan. I'm living in Africa, so Africa is extremely hot at this time of the year, and I can't put a fan on in this room, otherwise it will be so loud and you won't be enjoying the reading, okay? So let's get started. A card has flipped over. I haven't turned it over to see what it is, but I need three cards. Let me see what they're going to be. First card that is over is the Way of Faith, okay? You will notice that I do zoom in and out on the cards during the reading. The second one is literally, let's have a look, turn over a new page. The way of faith, so you're trusting that something is going to change the way that you want it to. Last card out, face your fears, but you're afraid that something may not turn out the way that you want it. So let me show you each one of these cards here. The way of faith, let faith be your guide. So this is literally, um, somebody's got faith with regards to a change that is coming in here, but at the same time, fear that it may not turn over the way that you want it to. So you're trusting that things are going to unfold the way that you want it, but at the same time, you worry that it may not. Okay, turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for change. Isn't this so beautiful? <laughs> I love it so much. So with regards to whatever this is, it's definitely somebody that you love, have feelings for, and it's something that you feel is worth fighting for here. Um, okay. But I'm hearing Spirit Guide going over and over. I hear them saying over and over. So this could be something that you've been trying to get right for a while. And with the fears energy coming in here, Face your fears. Hmm. Farewell to the phantoms. To the fear phantoms. Farewell to the fear phantoms. So there's definitely something that you're worried about here with regards to this over and over. I'm hearing it, I heard them saying over and over. So this could be your last attempt, attempt at something to make this work. And that's why you're so afraid. It's because you've been trying to make something work here and it's been failing over and over. So you and somebody could be coming in here literally saying, let's go for it. But I feel like in your mind, you're going, this is the last time I'm going to do this with you. If it doesn't work this time, it is over between me and you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What will happen this time? what will happen let's have a look and see i'm going to tell you what's going to happen here or at least show you some kind of energy from what i'm picking up on in current energy as tarot readers we are reading current energy that is out there and if things remain at the current energy this is what will unfold remember if thoughts change and Decisions change, energy can also change. So let me show you what these cards will look like laying out on the table for you. Let's have a look and see what will come up here. First card out, we have got the Nine of Swords. Second card, Seven of Cups. I'm not surprised. The third card is the Strength card. Let's see here. The fourth card, Two of Cups. Wow, okay. What lies next to the Two of Cups? Hangman. All right. Wow. So you're hoping for the best here with regards to your love situation. Wow. What lies underneath? At the bottom here, we got the Empress, the Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Three of Wands. I see. I'm hearing Spirit God say something here with regards to this energy. I see you trying so hard here, Virgo. And if anybody's going to try hard at something, it would be Virgo. Um, I think out of all the zodiac signs, honestly, if I'm going to go and try to create something in this world, <laughs> I would choose a Virgo to help me create it. If I had to have a partner, oh, I would choose a Virgo. You guys are 
like next level dedicated you know to something that you put your mind to and with the way of faith i feel like you you dedicated yourself to this connection to this person and you are hoping here that this chance that you guys have got which i feel like in your mind you are going this had better work because if this time it does not work i am going to have to face my fear and face those fear phantoms you know and realize that something may not be working so i'm going to explain to you here card by card what i'm seeing laying out on the table i'm going to listen for you to try to get also to see what spirit guide has got to say usually as i'm busy talking to you i hear them saying things which i'll just repeat back to you okay so nine of swords comes in here obviously this is your fear phantom right there because you are worried about how something is going to turn out here you are worried how a situation will unfold it's like will it work this time will we be able to um have to tell you about this card oh my god will you be able to overcome um maybe difficulties you guys are facing with the seven of cups coming in here um there is new ways of trying to do something here and it's almost like with the seven of cups coming in it's like you're looking at this you're looking at how can i how can i make this um how can I make new choices? How can we turn over a new page that's going to get this relationship, that relationship, lighting, to a place of strength? And it's like you're trying to figure out how, what is the best way forward here so that this connection can be in a very good, strong place here. And I feel even though you're hoping for this, this is what you're hoping for, um, a part of you is not fully believing it with the hangman card coming here. It's because with the hangman card, it's been a while since you've been trying to get it here. It's like you're waiting to see this coming in and you keep on holding on and holding on and you're trying again and trying again to get something to work. And it's like that has caused now this card to come up here in your energy. So... Before we go to the bottom row, I want to go back to this card quickly here and tell you something about what I know and what I practice and what I understand with regards. I always mention it whenever I see it in a situation. And also, whenever I pick up somebody is worrying about something, I always kind of mention it. Um, whatever you're doing at this time of the day. So when you're sitting up here in your bed and you're crying like that or you're worrying yourself sick or you're kind of like in fear, fear phantoms you know you're facing your fears in the day it's almost like you can think clearly like the clouds are up the sky is blue okay i can think about what it is i want okay but the moment the sun goes down those fear phantoms come sneaking in on you <laughs> and it gets into your mind and you start worrying about something going wrong here and this is where you need to be very 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 careful because whatever you think about before you go to bed will be the reality that you create i know you're going oh there we go again somebody's telling me how to think and then i create a different reality those things don't work they actually do work if you believe it or not okay um we are constantly creating the reality around us by everything that we think do and say and feel okay basically your energy and um it takes a huge you know we can go out on youtube and watch those law of attraction videos and go to all those different people who are putting up posting about it and you can watch those videos for a very very long time but it takes a lifetime of work to adjust and understand how these things actually work ultimately at the end of the day it is true witches have known it from the beginning of time and many times we got into trouble for expressing those that kind of information telling people that you can adjust things you know got into big trouble over there so um it is true this is one thing you need to know if you feel like things are going to go wrong here and you're imagining the fear phantom at this moment you're bringing it to yourself when you go to bed at this time and i wouldn't advise i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you yes you can picture this person but i would prefer that you picture a perfect relationship the way that you want it to be and not necessarily you can put this person's face onto it but i would picture just have being in an amazing relationship and if it is meant to be this person they will align with it with you 
and it will create it quicker for you it will help to bring it in easier for you and you'll have a lot less stress okay so when you go to bed imagine what it is you want to see not what you don't want to see because literally you are creating it okay just imagine if you if you could just understand the truth you know and just in that moment someone says to you, you know this that 30 minutes before you go to bed and you lay there thinking and crying and worrying you literally that's going to be your life everything you think about will come true would you not drastically change what you're thinking about of course you will just do it and see what happens you will surprise yourself and do it constantly just make it that's the way you are right now you don't ever sit and worry when you're in bed you only 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 ever think about good things and positive things just make that who you are from now on okay and i promise you you will you will change your life eh? you will change your life you will be able to create reality <laughs> in your world what the advice that's coming in here is that i'm seeing one person um that is ready for this okay one person that is ready to become nurturing to the other one ready to be caring to the other person open um accepting uh ready to join with the other person from the total heart energy with the empress coming here and the other person is a little bit closed off here this can be anyone <laughs> okay this can be you with your fear phantoms with the nine of swords being on top here creating a barrier with your energy because of the fear and it can also be you wanting to be the one open and it can be the person you're trying to connect to that can be causing the barrier that's why i'm saying if you're gonna focus on something that you want here i wouldn't put a specific person in there honestly i know many people are gonna one person went against me in the comments once and said you can manifest the person that you want a specific person Witches know this since the beginning of time, my darling. Don't you love spells on a specific person, okay? Same thing, because, you know, you cannot start a relationship with a kidnapping, okay? Just saying. So, <laughs> with this energy coming in here, um, I feel... Picture yourself in an amazing relationship and not a negative relationship whomever you may be thinking about but leave the energy very very open for the universe to be able to respond to you exactly what you are asking for or sending the information through picture yourself as if you are sending a video vlog <laughs> if i it's like i'm recording this video to you what am i speaking about here what am i telling you what am i doing how does everything look to you here do the same thing in your mind and send it out to the universe and you'll get responses back, okay? So it's the same thing, but just don't put any negativity into it and be very open with regards to a person because one way or the other, you will be answered back and you will receive the Empress energy, um, be it with this person or not. Now the thing is that's where the fear will be let go of because if you're going, okay, so this connection is not working out, it's not going to work out, this person is too close, they don't want to open up to me. You will still have no fear because you know you're still going to get the love of your life because you sent the message and you are sending the message over and over again so in return you will get the reply okay so there is no fear you can always get what you want okay as long as the person you are aligning with is wanting the same thing as you because just as you may not know that you manifest your own life they don't know that either but what are they focusing on what are they manifesting is it you is it a stable relationship or is it something else <laughs> you see what i mean so it's got to be in alignment and um, i feel to be honest with you with this person if you guys can communicate better if you can communicate better with this person and they communicate with you openly here with the page of wands this can change it can be moving into um a new page okay it can it can as long as open and honest communication is here i feel this is communication it's a new start in how you communicate with this person it's got to be a blank slate it's got to be a blank page basically and it's got to be open and honest with emotion and sharing of ideas and feelings if you do that it can go to the three of wands here and you can literally 
have this person open their world to you, you open your world to them, your back will be turned on these two wands and there'll be a new wand that you hold on to moving into the future. But there's got to be open communication between the two of you. And that means honesty, truth, um, speaking from the heart, speaking truth and um, sort of like the idea of what we can have and where we can go can show up here. If that takes place, blessings to you. You will get your empress with this person. You will get your strength and the two of cups with this person. So I feel honestly... I do feel very kind of positive about it, more than negative about it. So I think um, help in the way that you can help by literally re-picturing what you think about before you go to bed. Okay, trust me, it will do it with anything. If you want some money, picture getting the money. I'm just saying, okay. And you can really help yourself a lot by doing that. Um, picturing even honest and open communication with this person. You guys opening up to each other and talking really deeply to each other that's a positive way of doing it and um, that can really create that that can really create that energy it can even help to align your energy so that this person's energy falls into place with yours so it always starts with the energy it always starts with the thought with the feeling with the focus where you are intending intending to focus whenever we light a candle to do something because of which intention is what leads the lighting of the candle i can light a candle and sit here and go or I can light the candle and say, I light this candle for healing to burn inside of me. Boom. Direction has been put. So this is where you put your direction in this moment. And if you do that, it can help direct this entire relationship to get it to a place of strength and not to the fear place that you're so worried about. So I do feel like it's very, very positive. You can do all that you can do to shift this energy. But if this person cannot do it, then there will be somebody else for you and uh, just know that there will be another person that will then come in to align with that energy but if they do open like that very positive very positive energy as long as it's communication okay there we go thank you so much <laughs> if it does resonate with you i'm greatly honored thank you so much for coming to watch the video if it resonates hit the thumbs up button if you're going to subscribe i am really honored thank you so much if you don't know my name it is deborah um i'm from south africa by the way if you're wondering if you are subscribed already thank you so much guys it's always wonderful to see you guys here and always a great honor to have you guys come in and hear what your spirit guides have got to tell you otherwise have a wonderful day or evening or morning or whatever wherever you are sending my love bye